Discerning viewers, welcome to Golden Age Technology on Supreme Master Television. As we move assuredly into the golden age and work towards adopting sustainable energy solutions, many entrepreneurs and forward-thinking companies are striving to create new innovations for a cleaner, greener world. Few, however, have been as dedicated and inventive as Italian entrepreneur and longtime Hong Kong resident Lucien Gambirata, who is the founder of Motorwave Group Holding Limited. Since 2004, Mr. Gambirata and his team at Motorwave Group have designed and built a variety of intelligent energy solutions that harness nature's abundant resources in a responsible manner. Some of the company's products include Motorwave for capturing the power from sea waves, Motorwind for tapping the energy of the wind, and Motogym to generate energy from our own muscle power. Supreme Master Television had the pleasure of meeting Mr. Gambarata recently in Hong Kong, where he discussed his company's latest projects, the philosophy behind his commitment to clean energy, and his love of informing others of the benefits and importance of green power. Let's now meet Lucien Gambarata as he speaks candidly about his passion for his work. My name is uh, Lucien Gambarota. I'm uh, FBI, French-born Italian, and I've been uh, living in Hong Kong for um, 22, 23 years now. Um, originally, I came uh, to Hong Kong to, to do some toys business. Uh, I was representing factories in uh, Europe, and so I've been selling toys for 25 years or, or, more, or even more. During all that uh, time, uh, I uh, kept inventing or developing products because uh, in, in a toy business you have a lot of time free. Uh, Christmas is only once a year, so you have a lot of time and so uh, this allowed me to, to do research for the last 25-30 uh, years. But at some point changed my life, I got uh, three young kids uh, about 12 years ago and then uh, I realized we have done a bad job as a parents because we have uh, not been able to protect the planet. And, and so we are giving them a planet that is much worse than when we got it, when we were born. So ultimately, we are responsible. And uh, whenever you have the capacity of doing something and you don't do it, then, then you are more guilty than anybody else. And as a, as a scientist, I have the capacity of uh, doing things, so I have no choice, I, I need to do it. Uh, and uh, the more and more uh, I started to uh, think about different kind of solutions, what kind of help I, I could bring to the, to the planet, the more and more I realized that in fact there is unbelievable a quantity of technologies that we can develop. It seems until uh, recently, uh, Nobody was really interested, or if they were interested, but at that time, let's say that the world was not ready for that, right? because uh, uh, if you just take 10 years ago, the energy was so cheap, and uh, people were not talking about pollution. Today is a big trend, because people finally realize in a very, very uh, uh, unpleasant way, people are living a shorter life than before. They die because of pollution. Pollution is the most terrible thing, because pollution is 24 hours a day. Even when you sleep, you are getting polluted. Uh, and it reached uh, summits that never been uh, reached before. Today, the indoor uh, pollution is even higher than the outdoor pollution. So whether you, you, you are in the street or you are at home, no matter what, you get polluted. It's a very tricky thing, because pollution you cannot see. It gets into your lung, and then it builds in your lung and then it develops cancer, it develops a lot of uh, sickness. Out of concern for his children's and the planet's future, Mr. Gambarata began to research possible sustainable energy solutions. In 2004, he created the Motorwave Group to develop wind and wave power technologies. Originally, I started with two technologies. 
that, that for me were the most uh, inexpensive to, to, to produce uh, in order to get the lowest uh, energy cost. One is by using wave energy, wave, the, 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 the sea waves. The other one was wind. Uh, when I designed the, the wind turbine, what I had in mind is Africa. They have uh, <clears throat> very low resources uh, and, and, and they need help. Today, we know that the average wind speed is about five meters per second. And uh, most of the wind generator existing today, most of the, these big machines, huh, they are designed to work with much higher wind speed than that. Uh, they work with 10 meters per second, 20 meters per second. So the conventional technology is not adapted to, to the world. It's adapted to only very few places where there is high level of energy. Huh? But if you take a, a city or you take a road, we don't have this kind of wind. So uh, I, when I find out that this was the link uh, of generating power by using very low uh, wind energy, then, then all of a sudden, you know, things become very clear. We'll pause for just a moment and we will be right back with more from our insightful interview with Lucien Gambarata, president of Motorwave Group in Hong Kong. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to Golden Age Technology. Let's rejoin our lively discussion with Lucian Gambarata, eco-conscious entrepreneur and founder of the Hong Kong-based Motorwave Group. To make the most of wind conditions in Hong Kong, Motorwave Group developed a unique turbine designed to efficiently generate power in residential locations with low wind speeds. This is our new product for 2010. It's a toy. It's developed by one of our company called Moto Toy, and uh, uh, it makes uh, things is easier to explain to uh, kids and, and schools right? because it's, it's small. It's not dangerous. Okay. So you see, just a slight spin. Okay. It can move with very very low wind speed. It is a multi-blade, that means we have many, many, many blades. So this one will have a faster response to, to wind speed and high torque, high speed. But at the end, uh, this works with the wind speed we average in a city. Conventional one, they, they don't work. The solution, you see, it's as simple as that. Okay, I'm going to show you how uh, easy it is to generate power. You see, this is a light-saving bulb. It's about 17 watt. Look. You see? That's it. That's as simple as that, how we generate power. We just need to make the turbine spin and generate power. Obviously, the more power we need, the bigger the turbine has to be. So, today we have a quite a big range uh, of size. The, the, the smallest we have is 11 cm, huh? this one. This is the smallest size we have. And then we have 26, then we have 94, and then the biggest we have is about uh, six meter in diameter. Right. So this is a 94 cm turbine. Following on from wave and wind technology, Motorwave Group start to look to human muscle power as a creative solution for power generation. All the human uh, power machines, they, they are very interesting, not only because they generate power, but because they make you feel the cost of energy. Because today the, the, the feeling of energy is, uh, you, you don't feel anything, huh? you, you just plug in, uh, power your system and that's it. At the end of the month you pay uh, the electricity bill. So that means people don't have a sense of feeling what 
is the cost of energy. But if you need to power your own lights or you need to power your own TV using your own power, then you start feeling the cost of energy. So when people start producing their own power, then they start having the sense of energy and then they start saving. Because when they go home, they know that the light that is on, it takes a lot of power to generate this light. And so that's why it's very, very important that the people have this, this sense, this, this feeling, how much energy really costs. All our machines, they, uh, they're basically power station. They, they can deliver 12 volt DC, they can deliver 230 or 110 uh, AC. We even have a USB socket. People can plug in computer, telephone, they can recharge anything. The energy is can store in the battery, right? Oh yes, for practical use. You don't need to use the power immediately. You can store in the battery and then use it later. Mr. Gamberata believes we should be using oil in an efficient manner and uses an excellent example to demonstrate his point. So you have two philosophy. One side, you take oil and you burn it. Then you generate power. But every time you generate power, you release pollution. So this uh, turbine they are made of plastic and plastic is, ma is made from oil. So one side you can burn oil, the other side you can transform into plastic. This one is 26 cm turbine. This turbine, it weights about 300 grams. In order to make one turbine, I need one kilo of oil. With one kilo of oil, I can produce one turbine. If I burn one kilo of oil, I will generate about 4.5 kilowatt hour. That, that's the amount of energy. But if instead of burning this kilo of oil, I produce one turbine and I make this turbine work, make it generate power, I will generate exactly the same amount of power within one month. This turbine working for one month will generate the same amount of power if I have burned the, 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 the oil. Eh? And this turbine is made of plastic, that means it's recyclable. So this turbine can be recycled many, many times. So you see the philosophy behind all this here. Oil is to be transformed and then reuse all, all over, use all the time, uh, reuse and reuse. So it becomes recyclable. We are not creating, inventing, uh, generating things that don't exist. We just start from something that it's already existing. We just make a better use of it. And, and nobody can argue with that because it's so logical. And so we have a philosophy. We have a product that has proved to be uh, working. Then the next step is simple. Now we need to teach the kids. Indeed, the Motorwave Group is committed to raising awareness of sustainable energy in schools, as it believes it is important that children grow up understanding the importance of green technology. Please join us again next Friday for part two of our interview with Lucien Gamberata. We will also meet some of the dedicated staff of the Motorwave Group and see motor wind turbines in action at a local Hong Kong school. For more details on the Motorwave Group, please visit www.motorwavegroup.com. Thank you for joining us on Golden Age Technology. Coming up next is vegetarianism, the noble way of living. After not worth the news, may our planetary home return to its previous heavenly state as we continue to quickly embrace sustainable energy and the life-enhancing organic vegan diet. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash GAT.